Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for the weekend of March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Next week on Friday, March 28th, I am doing my webinar going deep into April 2014. We have eclipses coming, the Cardinal Cross. If you're into astrology and you want to plan the best month ever, register now for my April 2014 webinar. The link is down below. And my show, Spiritual House Sessions, is now on Monday nights, so I'll be promoting that on the Horoscope on Monday. And here we are this weekend. We have stepped into Aries. The sun has moved into Aries. We are now stepping into the identification of self. New beginning starts, direction, action, understanding the identity. And it's interesting seeing this energy come in with the moon that left you know, Scorpio yesterday and now coming into Sagittarius. There is things lighting up. There is a seriousness of taking a direction now and we're ready to go on the expedition. But before we explore these opportunities in new realms, is it all guided by spirit? Did spirit send you down this path where you could adventure and frolic off? Or did spirit put you down a direction at this place in your life and now you're just wanting to take it a whole different direction? I'd really pay attention to that right now. I think it's great to look at the new observations of your life and to open up to all the new possibilities. But there's this alignment of the moon squaring Neptune, squaring Mercury and Pisces, and Mercury and Neptune are coming to a conjunction in Pisces so we need to be very clear on whether or not we're truly being guided, that we're truly conscious, or is the energies that we're starting to believe in, that we're trying to open with, that we're trying to identify with, is it not on target with what the universe has guided us towards? You have to remember, what got us here? A river. A river of spirit, a flow taking us down the river. And as we now define with where we go, where the universe has dropped us off, we got to make sure that it goes in harmony with our inner side of peace, with the beauty of life, and more importantly, that it goes in the direction that is guided by soul. This is a time where the adventures, the opportunities, really must be guided correctly. Because if they're misguided, we could end up so far away from where we should be going that sometimes nothing will manifest. It's almost like a ship that jumps its course in the wrong direction. That now, sometimes with this energy, you know, really big fantasies that don't even make sense can come out right now. You can believe in this whole new direction and this whole new thing, but if it's truly not conscious and got, definitely because we got Pluto and Capricorn and a cardinal cross and all this energy of cardinal signs, will it be able to engage correctly? And I think that's what we observed this weekend, as it's good to look at all the options, it's good to add the fantasy, but if you feel like angels are standing by at the 1-800 number ready to give you an order, then you know. But if you call and there's not an answer at the other end and it just seems like dust in the wind or puff in the clouds, uh, you might want to reconsider it. And I say that because this is a time with Aries to define the self and to move into the direction of life. But we have a Mars retrograde which is ruled by Aries. And we were at this exact weekend a year from now with a, with a Mars conjunction with Uranus and the Sun and all this energy that we're really making sure in our life that we take correct action now. That this really isn't about, it's about how hard you push, but understanding and identifying with spirit what it's given you and where it's put you. And it's reflecting back on last year. This might sound really gnarly and nuts, but this is the kind of astrology I do. Last year at this time, it was all about Aries. We had a huge pileup in Aries. And I think it's important as we reflect backwards as Mars is opposing this position where it was, and this was a time of extreme power, that I think it's in time for us to really look at, huh, have we taken actions over the last year that have brought us to a great place, and do we continue on this path? Or, from at this point last year, did I go in the wrong direction and was I not guided correctly and did I try to take the course down my own road and it didn't work out? 
and now the universe has maybe put me in this place. Are you willing now to understand and build the vision and build your understanding spiritually and go with the flow and direct the energy that the universe has given you in the right direction? Or are you going to choose to direct it in a place that could be just all just fairy dust that never turns into anything? Because this is about making things real. Mercury on Neptune is a clarity and it's either super clear or super foggy. And I want to make sure that you understand that we can either be, it's a very slippery slope, this energy, because we got to make sure that we're aiming our life in a place that we actually know for sure we're going to get. And one problem with Sagittarius is it can aim so much, but that doesn't mean it will actually get there. Although I think it's important that we always aim as high as we can in our life. But if we're aiming in directions that aren't guided by spirit and that are all just fantasies and dust in the wind, when there's not some sort of true spiritual emotional truth behind it that you know is being signaled from the universe, I would not start to aim in these directions. And when it comes to relationships now, it's time to electrify with those that are sparked and where we've been guided towards, what we're truly wanting to identify with. And that's what this time is about. Because when Sunday rolls around and the moon comes into Capricorn, we are dead serious about taking action and moving in the directions as that we are going to have our three quarter square of the moon on Sunday. And this is about the pressure and the awakening of there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of plans to set. But before we make all these plans, it's the Play-Doh. It's the Play-Doh of moving things around in your consciousness this weekend, exploring, having fun, getting giddy again, having fun with people again, that can spark up the ideas and spark up the understanding of what direction to take our lives now. But making sure that we're aiming on a place that we get tipped off by the angels that are surrounding us. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you on Monday.